twisted together in a way that could only be described as unnatural. That stone and metal gate was the ultimate point that she and her team were attempting to reach. Beyond it, the domain that was known as Oblivion, at least in the common tongue, awaited anyone who was brave enough to keep going. This would be the first time Cass had seen it all in person. Her chest tightened a little more with every step she took toward it. She rarely thought of herself as brave. She had simply become well-practiced at doing things in spite of her fear. Investigate the Oblivion Gateway. Bring me proof of whatever the King Emperor is up to. Those had been her Lord Patron's instructions. This was the reason her team was here, in spite of the danger and the fear because of those specialized soldiers from King Emperor Varen's army. His so-called peacekeepers, that were allegedly here as well. Her patron wanted to know why those peacekeepers were here. Nobody frequented this dismal place without purpose. Most went out of their way to avoid it, actually, because most believed that the Bloodstone Mountains were cursed. And perhaps they were or the Domain of Oblivion was, at least. Nestled in the northernmost ridges of the Bloodstones, that domain was a place covered in silver-black clouds that frequently swallowed people up and never spat them back out. Explanations for what lay beneath those clouds varied. Some said the cover was a natural barrier created from the decay of strange flora and fauna underneath it. Others claimed that Curse that bone god who was otherwise known as the middle god of death and destruction, had made a secret home there. That he still visited it whenever he grew tired of the various heavens that he and his fellow deities had long ago ascended to. Still other stories said there was a monster hiding deep in the heart of that silvery darkness, and it stalked the edges of its territory without rest, breathing sickness and famine and disaster out into the Empire whenever it grew angry or restless. The truth was that nobody honestly knew what happened in the shadows of Oblivion, and the not knowing was enough to convince most that it had to have been something wicked and wild at work. Something wicked and wild that the King Emperor may or may not have been tangling himself up in. Cass wasn't sure what she believed about this place, not yet. But she tried not to think of the more terrifying stories she'd heard about it as she continued to wind her way through the uneven paths. As she came closer to the Bone God's Pass, she returned her bow to the sheath slung across her back, and she reached instead for the small dart gun tucked inside her coat. The darts she carried tonight were tipped with a toxin derived from Killsweed. Despite the plant's name, this particular toxin was only meant to make a grown adult.